Hi, this is Dr. Kingston, and in this video, we'll be talking about the papillae of the tongue. And our objective here is just to simply describe the different types. So the papillae of the tongue are what we colloquially, colloquially call taste buds, even though some of them transmit tactile sensation instead of taste. We have four distinct varieties of them, and they contribute to the sensory function of the tongue. These are going to be named for what they look like. So we have filiform papillae that look like filaments, fungiform papillae that look like mushrooms, foliate papillae that look like foliage, um, and then big valate papillae that get their name from the raised edge that surrounds the center. So supposedly these look like forts with a large wall around the outside. Surprisingly, it has nothing to do with a valance or a curtain around something, but if that helps you to remember them, that is fine by me. So let's take a closer look at each one of these. Filiform papillae are conical in shape, and these are the papillae that transmit tactile sensation. Tactile sensation from the tongue, remember, is going to be carried by the lingual nerve, which is a branch of V3. So when you run your tongue across your teeth, it's these papillae that help your brain sort out what that feels like. Um, these grow across the entire dorsal surface of the anterior tongue, and they have a growth and shed cycle, kind of like hairs. So occasionally, and especially in older individuals, they don't shed as frequently as they should, and instead they end up growing very long, like what you see in the image here. Right? If you've ever heard of ha someone having a hairy tongue, this is probably the culprit. The fungiform or mushroom-shaped papillae are likewise kind of spread all the way across the anterior tongue. These have taste buds inside of them and are going to help transmit taste sensation. And remember, taste sensation is going to be traveling back to the brain via the cord of tympani. The foliate papillae are short vertical folds that are found on the lateral margins of the tongue. These house multiple taste buds that are served by the cord of tympani, and these are especially dense in young children. So if you've ever noticed that you get like a really cute taste for certain things on the side of your tongue, usually kind of metallic or acidic things, um, these are what are picking that up. This is also why children tend to have very extreme uh, sense of taste and aversion to specific tastes. Those big valate papillae are only found at the border between the root of the tongue and the body of the tongue. So just in that single row there. Um, and again, they're getting their name from that distinct shape that they have, where they have a slightly raised centrum surrounded by a ridge or a wall. These are housing taste buds as well, and they are the only papillae that are served by the glossopharyngeal nerve. All right, so that is it. Short and sweet. Let's do a review question. All right, which papillae will be most affected by a lesion of the lingual nerve as it branches from the mandibular nerve? And the correct answer here is A, the filiform papillae. These are the tactile papillae. Um, so all of the sensory information that they collect is going to be transmitted to the brain specifically by the lingual nerve. So if it's injured as it branches from the mandibular, that's after the corda tympani has come off with all of the taste sensation. So it will affect just the somatic sensation. All right, that brings us to the end. Thank you very much for joining me.